thanks to Nostail for sponsoring this video. Nostail is releasing their biggest content update in years. Act 7, The Orcs and the Celestial Spire is live right now. You can travel around Meridius and forge your own adventure, and players who are above champion level 10 can embark on new adventures on Meridius Island. This free-to-play anime RPG has new maps, monsters, and quests, as well as an enhanced gaming experience loaded with new features, like new passive skills, equipment items, and craftable weapons using blueprints and materials. And you can use these new skills in three brand new raids designed for players level 90 and up. You can now upgrade your weapons and apply similar upgrades to your heroes using the new tattoo system. Act 7 will be released in two parts. Part 1 is available to play right now, and Part 2 will release early 2020. Click the link below to learn more and begin your adventure! Remember those creepy troll dolls with the crazy hair on top? Because... Uh, I know I did. Those things creeped me out beyond belief. Apparently, these th things started in 1959 by Thomas Dam, a Danish woodcutter who wanted to give a gift to his daughter. He even modeled the face after his face, and I guess that's why it's so creepy. No offense to Thomas Dam, but trying to make something look hyper-realistic tends to backfire because it usually ends up in the uncanny valley. And this toy became popular with kids. And then he just started making these things. It came to America, and they've always just kind of been there. You saw them every once in a while, and Hasbro tried to push them to boys as the original battle trolls, but <laughs> that failed. So they switched gears and decided, you know who else we can market this to? Girls. Damn, the Danish company that owns the rights licensed the troll toys to DIC Entertainment, who are responsible for making trolls with a Z, because that makes it cool, I guess. Now we're in the future where everyone is a troll and most of the animation budget went toward animating their hair. Also, they have gems on their belly buttons, which is the catalyst for their spells, because I don't know, they, they thought they could sell more toys? Or maybe it's an allegory for belly button piercing. It's weird. The answer is it's weird. The character designs I both hate and love. I like how cute it looks from a quick glance, but when you really think about it, these proportions must have made it difficult for the animators, but it looks similar to chibi characters from anime, so eh, it's okay in my book. And this show was ahead of its time. They're all named after the gems in their belly button. There's Onyx, Amethyst, Topaz, heck, Steven Universe ripped off trolls, 100% confirmed, undeniable evidence, you cannot convince me otherwise. Is, 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 is. I don't know why, but anytime there's a show from the early 2000s marketed towards girls, it seems like they heavily rely on the stereotypes. Let's hang out at the mall. Oh my gosh, that boy is so dreamy. We need to design them to where they always look like they have makeup and that's their default state. Hey, be careful with the hair. Oh wait, I guess that one makes sense. And I'm not saying these are bad. I mean, these are definitely things that girls think about. It's just that, they addressed all of them within the first five minutes of the first episode. I couldn't decide if they were being lazy or if the writers wanted to get these tropes out of the way. But after watching the show, I can say for certain that it's neither. A lot of the episodes uses these stereotypes and breaks them during the episode in order to teach the viewer a lesson. Usually something like, be yourself, or tell the truth. They're simple lessons, but I can applaud the writers for actually using the stereotypes to their advantage. It's still kind of annoying, though. What is this place? Deep within the haunted woods lies the ancient world of the trolls. Then the dark magic arose and snuffed out the light of life. Wait, I thought this was a comedy. 
Are they trying to introduce a big and mysterious plot? It's only episode two. You are here because your spell may have awakened the evil that brought this world to an end. I've only been doing spells for a couple of days, and I've brought on the end of the world. We're at the world ending scenario. It's... It's only episode two! This show wants so hard to have a fantasy-driven overarching plot, but really the overarching plot is... boring. And it doesn't even deliver a sense of risk. It's like they feel obligated to add the high fantasy aspect because they're, you know, trolls. But also apparently... But also they desperately want it to be a slice of life comedy, and they really don't work. It could work. Just, you know, not here. Well, you're here. In the name of all trolls down through the eons, you are not welcome in these hallowed halls. Oh, please. What are you going to do? Give me detention? You have no power over me. How can I feel a sense of risk when the main antagonist is some brat kid that's really just a jerk? They act like he's some great threat, but nothing he does makes me believe that. Okay, whoa, hold up. You can't just break into a student's locker and go through their stuff. Fire that principal. What, what, what is this show trying to teach? In order to get the correct ratio, you have to measure the soap. One half cup per cubic yard. So laundry is like science? No. No. Why is it so hard for people to write smart characters? You can't just say anything that's related to math is only for the hyper-intelligent. Sapphire is the worst character. Part of me wonders the reasoning behind the writing at points. Sometimes it's fighting a great evil. Sometimes it's competing in a street race. They seem like they're setting something up, but then we take a three-episode detour on something completely unrelated. Let's do what I do. Watch him from a distance. If he tries to talk to you, run away. And never look him in the eye. And that works? Hmm. No wonder I never get a date. On the other hand, Onyx is the best character. But then again, the competition wasn't that fierce. And I'm into goth girls, so she already had an advantage. I blame you for this! <laughs> you breathe for the first time. Behold, the troll doll toy line for the Trolls cartoon. Uh, it's a hair thing. Styles in a snap. I'm not kidding. This is this is what they decided would be appealing to girls. And uh, you can even see on the back, DIC, DIC Entertainment and Hasbro. So uh, apparently the concept behind this is mix and match outfits. You're supposed to collect several. Uh, understandable, you know, they want you to buy more, so... Duh! For endless fashion combinations. Whoa! There's 250 trawlers inside of this? You seeing this? 250 trawlers? They're basically giving away money! It still has the patented super crazy hair, as of course, because that's the defining trait for trolls. And it's honestly a very stark deviation from the original Troll Dolls. It's it's surprising. I mean, it's a lot more, you know, ooh, girly girl kind of stuff, but compared to the, you know, Danish, nor like, old fantasy of trolls. So this is, I guess, a bit more appropriate for nowadays. The hair is also a lot more, like, light. It, it flows a lot nicer, or maybe like all the troll dolls that I had uh, were just old, so who knows? Um, th but, you know, the creepy thing is when you, you pop out the head and the everything, and you just switch it with new stuff. You just, you just gotta create a, a whole new body. Which, ironically, in terms of, in terms of, like, actual proportions, this is more proportionally accurate to an actual person, without the head. But, you know, cartoons and exaggeration, so they, they have 
large heads. I honestly always hated the toys with like tiny itty itty bitty pieces, like the shoes, because I always lose them and they never seemed fun to play with on their own. And mixing and matching fashion, like that's just easier to do on a computer with those click and drag games. If you know what I'm talking about. I play, I've spent way too much time on those. So this is really boring to me. I mean, I get it, it's a doll, so you're supposed to be like uh, playing with them, playing pretend, but in itself, there's not really anything to it. Oh man, here's our trawlers. We got the trawlers. We got 250 trawlers. You seeing this with the worst character on the cover? Mm mm mm. Trawlers. Central Bank of Trollsopolis. I hate it. You can redeem it. Oh, you add, there's actually a redemption code. Oh, you actually use this for something. They had a system online. Who knew? You will breathe for the first time. Fill your lungs with my power. Be intoxicated with bloodlust. Once you've succumbed, you will know bliss through agony. Feel the euphoria of hunger and the hatred of satisfaction. Would I recommend watching this show? No, no, no. It's very mediocre. And apparently I wasn't the only one who thought so because it failed. It failed pretty bad. It failed so bad that DIC Entertainment allegedly lied on their financial reports, so uh, so Dam had to sue them. So that that's a, that's a thing. Then now currently DreamWorks got the rights to make movies and after watching the movie they made well, it's better than Trolls with a Z cartoon, but I I still didn't get why people liked it so much. I thought it was also okay. Man, I hate being so negative about this. I know it's in the name of the channel, but I'm a positive guy. I like stupid TV shows like this. So why does this rub me the wrong way? Oh wait, it's because I have taste. Breathe unto me and you will breathe for the first time. Fill your lungs with my power. Be intoxicated with bloodlust. Once you've succumbed, you will know bliss through agony. Feel the euphoria of hunger and the hatred of satisfaction. Never be satisfied, for now you are my apostle. You are an extension of me and you will carry forth my will unto your filthy world. Cleanse the world with your hunger, and you will be rewarded with your service in your next life. Ascend your physical manifestation by embracing your physical manifestation. Consume, and all will be forgiven. Now you too can ascend your physical manifestation with this monstrosity of a shirt. Oh my god, Jesus! Wow. Okay, that that's that's what we're that's what we're going with. This one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, link in the description below if you want to get this shirt. It's it, it exists. It. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Uh, we have other shirts too. Just if if you want to browse, there I have other. There's there's actual merchandise there. Been working on it for a while. I mean, just there's there there's this one also. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That, how about that one? Yeah, hmm. M maybe. Okay, I'm done.